Talk. <laughs> okay. Oh God, that was funny. <clears throat> Anywho, morning, welcome Matt. to the 18 Wheel Talk Podcast Show. <laughs> hey, we're not just a podcast for truckers. That's right. We're gonna give you a little humor, a lot of laughs. <laughs> a lot of laughs. And hey, what's going on today? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, third time's charm. Third, third time's a charm. <laughs> so how's Janet today? Amazing. Amazing. We Amazing. made it this far. Yeah, we made it like two minutes in. We made it past two minutes. Yay! Uh, Janet was a little tongue-tied on the first two checks. Uh, watch for the blooper reel. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my, my God, God, Buffy. That's right. So, so while we're here... Before we really get into this, all right. I want to talk about boobies. You want to talk about boobs. Boobies. Boobay. Yes. Help the boobies. All right. Let's see. Let's, come on. Get out of my. There we go. There we go. There you go. I'm like, what's going on? Anywho, yeah, we want your help supporting the boobies. Boobies. Lift them up. <laughs> Help support them. Like a good bra, we are. We have on our website a BC support tab. Just go to 18wheeltalk.com. <clears throat> no, they just have to go to 18wheeltalk.com. Click on the tab at the upper left-hand corner. It says BC support. And we, we took our logo right here. We took our logo and turned it pink. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty damn cool. I do, too. We put on three T-shirts. Why three? Because we decided three we was enough. Choose. Three was enough. And one wasn't enough. Yeah, one one was one, one was too little. Three more more than three is too much. So we said three. Let's do three. Uno dos tres. You can buy one. You can buy two. You can buy all three. However you want to do it, that's fine. Uh, Fifty percent of all profits from the T-shirt sales between now and the end of October. Are going to go to breast cancer research. Yep. Or are we just going to do cancer research? No, breast, breast cancer, cancer research. research. Because it's booby support. Uh, pardon me. And uh, we can't do it without your help and support. And Get it? Yeah, support like a good bra. Sup support the boobies. Help us be a good bra. What? Every woman knows a good bra, one that supports you nicely and doesn't hurt, is hard to find. Yes. and Kind of like us. And <laughs> Well, anyways, we can't do it without you, and we also would greatly appreciate it if there's a facility that you're close, near and dear to, uh, work closely with because of a family member. Uh, yourself. Yeah, yourself, you're involved with. Uh, you, yeah. want, you want some, some of the money to, to be donated in that direction? Get, get a hold of us. Yep. Send me an email, Patrick at... 18wheeltalk.com in the subject line put breast cancer research or something so that Please way i do. so that way i know what i'm looking at when when i open it up <clears throat> and that it's not hate mail <laughs> hey i'd like hate mail even at this point hey you know what you guys don't like us send us an email right. send me an email patrick at 18wheeltalk.com subject let, or, line let, i hate janet let, let me know. Let me know why you hate the show. Janet's not funny. Tell us how we can make it better for you. Lose the co-host. Put a pug in her place. No. I'm not doing it. Oh. Nope. I'd rather shut the show down. All right. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> you could put the bleep, pugs bleep, in my bleep, place. Bleep. That's all, folks. It'd be cute on screen. I know. We put one in my place, one in your place. It'd be the quietest show on earth. No. Then we sit off screen with the headphones and talk for them. If we can get them to sit still long enough, I would try it. Yeah, the Pug Podcast Show. We'll I, try that sometime. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I tell you. They're fidgets. They're pugs. They'll be asleep. Yeah, well, that's true. We'd have to prop them up with a lot of pillows. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, how are you doing today, Jan? I'm good. 
Anyway, so help help support our boobies. And how you doing today, John? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm not so good now because you keep asking me how I am. Okay. Eventually, you ask me enough, and I'll be horrible. Okay, so how's your day going? <laughs> well, let me think. Uh, mm. I had a good weekend, and then I've like my week's been okay, and yeah. Got your mind drain under control. My drain's under control. My my mind drain is yeah, under control. Mind drain. Liquid braino. I put liquid draino on it. Liquid braino. Liquid braino on it. Braino. Braino. Comes in a bottle about about this big. No, tequila comes in a bigger bottle at our house. Well, yeah. Cheese <laughs> and rice. Everybody knows that. Isn't this National Tequila Year? Oh, I think so. I think I think isn't it isn't it like Margarita Month? Yeah, it's Margarita Month, but I think it's Tequila Year, and Alcohol Decade. Oh. Got to keep track of oh, these. Oh, that's right. This is 2020. It's the year of the tequila. Yeah, I want to. I want to be an alcoholic when I grow up. That was our New Year's resolution to, to be functioning alcoholics. Yeah, to drink. We 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 said we wanted to drink more and start smoking again. Okay. <laughs> We're drinking a lot more. We're drinking more. I yet to do that smoking. I <coughs> I don't think my throat could handle it. Hey, I used to smoke three packs a day and quit cold turkey. I used to smoke a little over three packs a day and quit cold turkey. That was because my years mama ago. asked me to. That was six years ago. Wow, it has been six years for you. Um, what's 21 minus 05? Uh, that's too many numbers. <laughs> too many numbers. <laughs> Almost 16 years ago for me. What? <laughs> Shut the front door. It is unlocked. Oh, okay. That way no one can break in while we have our headsets on. What? I didn't hear nobody. That's because our headsets are off. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's why the front door's locked. So anyway. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Janet will be here all day. She's yeah. got mad yolks. Mad yolks, mad yolks. That's because I got lots of eggs in the refrigerator. I know. Do you know why? Why? Because usually on Sundays, I like doing Sunday brunch. Yeah. The only thing I have not added to Sunday brunch is, um, oh, my God. Family? Are... <laughs> <laughs> Click. That's a joke. Oh, okay. Of course no, we have family. Mimosas. Oh, yeah, the fake the fake drinks. Non-alcoholic or alcoholic? Alcoholic. For us, but for non-alcoholic us. for the visitors. Correct. Because we Unless... don't want we don't want to turn them into assholes. Some of them already are. True. Alcohol might help them, but I don't want anyone to drink and drink. I know. I don't want so... assholes at dinner. Me being the number one asshole of the house, I don't need more assholes. Anyway, <laughs> his phone rings. Whoopsie, forgot to turn the volume down. I already turned my volume down, I swear I did. My bad. Um, so anyway, um, so we could do fake mimosas for visitors that aren't driving. Fake mimosas. Yeah, and real mimosas for those of us that can drink because we're not driving. Except underage people like Kyle. He can just drink orange juice. <laughs> yeah, water. Right. Give him water. Give him water. Water. But anyway, I like doing Ice brunch cold on Sundays. water. But what happens is we t everyone knows that Janet likes to cook. Janet likes family dinners. Therefore... People kind of know we got like this little open door policy for family. and. Oh, you just got blurry. Did yeah. I? Yeah. Cool. Look at this. Clean up your screen. No, I didn't do it. You're worse. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Am I worse or better? You're, you're way worse. Oh, my God. Your face is so distorted. <sighs> <laughs> You're fine. What the hell? Oh my! What are you going through a tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody... that, that's 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 better. You okay. you're not as blurry. You all of a sudden it's like you got blurry. I'm like, is it Open me? Your eyes. It's you. So everybody knows that Janet likes to cook. We do Sunday dinners and wait. You cook? I thought we had a. I thought we had a chef that came in. Hello, her name's Janet. Oh, that's who it is. <laughs> You know, when the kitchen door closes, Janet and the pugs are on the inside and everybody else is on yeah, the inside. Yeah, I know. My, I know. my shoes. But yes, my Janet, Janet loves to cook. That's her happy place. Yes. 
when Janet's in her happy place, Patrick is nowhere to be found because he's not allowed in. Just do not cross the line, you die. Just the pugs. Just, just saying. Even sometimes the pugs aren't allowed. Yeah. Because so. I kick them out. Mm hmm. It's like if I can't be in here, you can't get out. <laughs> they have their spots. Anyways, if you're if you're uh, if you're listening to us in your ears, we greatly appreciate it. We thank you very much. And please leave us a five star review for putting up with our nonsense. Yes, and if you're watching the laughters on YouTube, please hit the like button. Smash that like button down here somewhere. Smash the dingling bell. Don't hit my head too hard. Thank you. She's had two traumatic brain injuries, so don't smash her head. Just him. Hey, it smashed the like button and hit oh, the, yeah, hit, hit the, the like notification button. bell. Ding, ding, ding. Anyways, we were talking about Sunday dinner. And leave I us like a comment. Cook. Leave us a comment. So people know, and sometimes we have company. Mm -hmm. And so I really enjoy it because I like family dinners, and I usually cook brunch, but once in a while I cook afternoon you know an actual dinner dinner like we did the other sunday where i did the pork roast the oh, god, blade yeah, and yeah. shoulder roast with all the trimmings oh god yeah she, and when she you have a roast she... that nice you can't just say here's the roast and have yeah. some box potatoes yeah, or something was, you was, have to do dinner it was mini thanksgiving that's what everybody said <laughs> yeah it's like sunday brunch or dinner or dinner whatever you call it whatever i feel like cooking excuse, excuse me uh, it turns into mini Thanksgiving. But if it's brunch, I usually do like pancakes, eggs, bacon. It's like a nine course meal. Sometimes hash browns um, or waffles. If I can't pancakes. get if I can't get a little bit of everything on one plate and I gotta go back just to get other stuff. He's happy. That's a that's a mini Thanksgiving. As I said, he's happy. Uh, no, that's Janet made too much goddamn food. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done cooking. Fine. Fine. You're done eating. Well, no, I'm not done eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So what I like about it, and I like doing family dinners during the week when we have the opportunity. Okay. All right. Time out. Okay. Now explain to the people why. That's you, what I was. Why you like doing a, the, the that, family dinner. What I was. I said oh. what I like about it. Uh, no, why. That's what I. We, we, we went to doing it. That's what I was, what I like about it. Okay. Sorry. And family dinners is we take our cell phones and we put our cell phones off the table. No mm -hmm. cell phones and ringers off. Mm -hmm. We usually just put them on a charger somewhere. Oh, wait, you told me that the reason why we started doing family dinners is because they, nobody does them anymore. Yeah. But they also don't communicate. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. If, because if everybody's everyone's got their face in their cell phone. Everyone's got their face in their phone when mm -hmm. they're eating. People sit in front of the TV with their face in the phone and the TV on, and they just. <laughs> they don't even talk. And if they're at the table, they don't look at each other. Right. So, so we, we have doing... a no cell phone policy at the table on Sunday dinners or family dinner family during dinner. the week. During the week. Yeah. And no TV on. It's like no, that. No TV, no radio. You got to talk to the person next to you. It's like um, the scene in the movie, The Blind Side. Where Michael Orr goes to their house for dinner, mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. And they're all putting their plates together and they're going into the front room to eat. And he sits because... down at the end of the table because he's never had a Thanksgiving dinner like that. Right, right. And she looks at him and she's like, oh, okay, everybody come to the dinner table. And she turns the TV off. That's how I feel about it. Yep. Doesn't matter if it's the biggest game in the world. Too bad, so sad. Yeah, I know. You know. You'll you'll see the reruns. <sighs> I feel it on that yeah. one. You don't plan Thanksgiving dinner I when you're know. there's a good football game. I on. know. The That's, baby, the you, bears are playing. You don't plan a big dinner when the bears are playing. You plan it around it. Besides, I don't Besides. get me started on. I'm not watching football this year. So anyway, we're talking about said that last year. Sunday dinners. It got worse. It's talking about Sunday dinners. I like the fact that we communicate and we sit and talk. And even after dinner's done, plates are stacked in the middle. We're all done eating. We sit and we talk for half an hour or 40 minutes or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's 
about the communication between the family members, not just the food. Yes. Whereas when it's the you the conversation, take, it's the actual conversation that com conversing with with a human being and, other than an electronic device and the laughter and the, you really find out how a person's oh week was. Oh my God. Was. We laughed so hard Sunday last time. <laughs> oh, my ribs hurt. Yeah. We had a good Sunday dinner when we should throw in like Jenga or something. I agree. Well, when I grew up, that's what we did. We, we had gotta, we gotta do like Jenga and like pie or dessert of some sort and coffee. Well, yeah, I don't know why. We, why didn't I, you think of that last time? I'm sorry. You were so far. You're the cook. I, I can't be in the kitchen, so I can't help. So, so you should have. You should have set up the coffee. You're fired. No, you're not fired. You're fired. No, that's just messed up. <laughs> boo boo lip. Yeah, so take your boo boo lip and just just fine. It's gone. So growing up, we always had Sunday dinner. We had. We went to mass, usually 8.15 mass. If not, we went to 10.30. Okay. And then afterwards, mom and I would do the cooking and, you know, the table would get set and the boys would have their girlfriends over. I didn't have a guy over because I was the youngest. What? Uh, yeah. It, I wasn't really no. dating back then because I was so young. And they'd have their girlfriends over and we'd all sit down to the Sunday table and there'd be 10 to 12 of us typically. You know, and that's big. Enjoy Sunday dinner, and after everybody was done eating, we'd put the food away and clean up the table and do the dishes and load the dishwasher because not everything fits in the dishwasher or can be done in a dishwasher. Uh -huh. And wipe down the table and dry it off and pull out the cards and play Shanghai, which is a game that my family played growing up, but you have to have at least like five people to play that. You can't play that with just like three people. What is Shanghai? It's a card game. Mm. It's a card game that takes multiple decks. If you've got three people, you use four decks. If you've got four people, you use five decks. You always use one more deck of cards than there is people. And there's rounds, uh, there's 10 rounds. See, when I grew up, we played Canasty. Yeah, and each round, it was like, the first round, you have to get like two sets of three. The second round is like three, three pairs or uh, three runs of four. Okay. Um, I've got the directions written down. I'd, I'd really have to stop and think about that's, it. But it, we played Shanghai. That's okay. You played Shanghai. We played Canasty or Pinochle. Yeah, we did. We we call it Canasty because we, we we played Nasty. Yeah, I learned how to play Canasty a lot uh, in the, when I was in the military. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing Canasty later on in life. And then, and then that's what I grew up doing was playing cards after Sunday dinner. And we'd play cards in the afternoon and watch whatever on TV. If it was in the summer, we would go swimming and then have leftovers for Sunday evening. And by then, the guys would take their girlfriends home and whoever had a job if they worked sunday night part-time would go to the job and our that's how our day was to okay. me that was really important because we spent the whole day together as a family so it was you know that to me that's a good memory and i like to try and bring that memory back because people don't do that when sure. i talk to people about having family dinner or sunday dinner they're like oh i remember that i wonder why our family doesn't do that and i'm like you're the mom. You're the one with all the kids. You tell me why you don't do that. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't know. That's a lot of work. I'm like, so get your kids to help. Get your spouse to help. Your significant other to help. I agree. You know? But if I try to help, I get yelled at for being for, in the kitchen. For people that don't like cooking. Oh. I love to cook. And I do let you help. I'm like, Five yeah. minutes before Baby, everything. Baby, I need your I need your help. Come set the table. Five minutes before <laughs> it's done, I send the tech a family text out. Come uh -huh. set the table. Come set the table. Or baby, I need you to stir this for me. Yeah, come stir this or come get me this come pot. Come taste down. this. Come get this pot down. Come taste yeah. this. I need this pot. I need this pan. Or hey, have you seen this? Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. It's so good. And then she draws me stick figures. Like, it looks like this. Like, I, I can, don't remember that. I can draw on my phone and send it. So I draw it pictures. Like, what the it. heck is that? Is that a boat? <laughs> That's not a boat. <laughs> is that a boat with a spoon row, row in it? I'm going to give you a boat. <laughs> Slow boat to China. What? I, Wait. But that's... What? Yeah. <laughs> Slow one, because I want to keep you. Oh, okay. Slow okay. boat to China. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So that's what gets me is all these people, they are always like, oh, I have such fond memories. Why don't people do that anymore? And I'm like, you're the adult. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know why. It's okay, baby. Oh, okay. Whew. Thank God. Killing me small. It's all right. You don't have to adult today. Oh, good. Because I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'll adult for both of us. Wait, what? You betcha I will. You betcha. You betcha, betcha sweet patooties, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you like about Sundays or family dinners growing up? The food. That's it? Yeah, I was a kid. I, I didn't get to hang out with the adults. As a teenager, you didn't? Uh, yeah. By then, you didn't care. Yeah, then I didn't really, uh, ate dinner and then gone. Outside. I wasn't on a phone. I was outside. Yeah, you did. There. Outside. You, oh, we had a phone with, you know, the, the windy cord yeah. that was, you know, 20 foot long or whatever. And if you were on that phone when my dad was home, yep. man, he would unplug it yep. from the phone. You'd be talking to someone with your bedroom door closed and then it'd go, hello, hello. You'd look at the phone and then you'd open the door and my dad would be standing there with the other end. I hung it up for you. I do love my dad. <sighs> he was so funny. He had mad yokes. He had mad yokes. <laughs> he, had, he had mad stories. Oh, he did. I wish I'd had a secret tape recorder. Yep. The <laughs> secret tapes. The secret tapes of Dad McHugh. Yes, the secret tapes of Jim McHugh Sr. Dun, dun, dun. Would, News at 11. Yeah, that was <laughs> funny stuff. 2020 special. <laughs> yeah. Dad's mad yokes. <laughs> are they real? Or, yeah. are they, or are they dad jokes? Yeah. The uh, stories of that he used to tell of my grandfather. Okay. I, everybody I, knows. I do remember like every so often there'd be, you know, like pie for dessert or mm -hmm. something like that, you know, a nice apple pie or. What sure. was your favorite dessert? I like like the um, apple pie with a like crumble, crumble crumb top. top. Yeah, yeah, crumb like I make crumb top apple pie. Yeah, I like that. Or apple apple cobbler or whatever that's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apple cobbler. That's pretty good. You're an apple person. Well, yeah. I mean, I like strawberry too. I like cherry pie. Cherry yeah. pie is like my favorite. Yeah, and your sister's either strawberry or cannolis. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how people eat those. I don't mind a cannoli once in a while, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. If you give me a cannoli, I'm going to be like, oh, who wants this? Every now and then, it's like apple pie a la mode, you know, hot apple pie with a scoop of ice cream. Yeah. And a bowl next to it. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're, you're, you're a food can't touch. You, yeah. I should, I could buy you like a, a six section plate. You'd be happy. Yeah. Why? I'm just saying, because none of your food would touch. If it was China, I'd be fine with that. What? If it was a nice looking piece of China with the sections, I'd be fine oh with that. Oh my God. Somewhere we got an hors d'oeuvre plate. You might as well just use it. <gasps> That's a good I idea. I know, right? <laughs> it's got all those little slight, you know, oh. you, you, none of your, your food would never touch. Oh my God, my food would never touch. Oh Life is all, oh, baby. You Life is me. good. You do love Life me. Life is good. Oh, you do love me. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did that, right? Yeah, you did, did that. Right? You did that left or right or something. I don't know. <laughs> High five. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that down someday. I know, one of these days. Usually I'm going like this, and it's like, no, it doesn't work like that. It's backwards. What you do is this. The walls are closed <laughs> again. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Anyway. Like a clown. Big nose, you've got a big nose clout. Right? I feel like a clown. I feel like I'm in trouble. <laughs> like a pug in trouble. <laughs> what did you do? Are... What did you do? Anyway. Anyways, yeah, we got a, we got a. So when, when we do family dinners, we pull out the, we pull out the real plates. I call it. We don't pull out the good china because that's only used on, on holidays. We pull out the good plates. We pull out the everyday plates. Yeah, we have we have we have we have everyday everyday plates, which is our paper plates, and then we have the real plates. <laughs> okay. We use a lot of paper plates because we eat a lot of things that are 
sandwiches. Um, it's it's just us, so it's like why 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 make dishes when you yeah. don't have to? When and you have company, you don't want to use the good. If I don't have to, you don't want to use the good paper china. Oh my god! <laughs> I would use hard plates, regular china plates every day. I used to. I never used paper plates until I got together with Patrick. Paper you plate. Know, let you me, blame let, let, everything let me. on me. Well, don't, it's true. Don't blame. Don't change because it's just me. If you want to do that, then let's do it. I use to save paper, money. Don't 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 waste your money on paper plates. I use. Pa I'm wasting your money. I use paper. Don't waste my money on paper <laughs> plates. I use paper plates for camping. That's it. I'm going on I, strike. I'm not. I'm not buying paper plates anymore. Fine. I'm fine with that. Fine. I fine. Use, I used paper plates for outdoors. I have sandwich plates, the glass ones, for mm -hmm. sandwiches. Yeah. I use those for sandwiches. I use those for cheese crisps. I use those for all sorts of small things. Which you bobbing your head for? Because we never use them anymore because we're the paper plate family now because we want to destroy the economy or the ecology. You know, the, the, the environment. Growth, environment. It was one of those E words. <laughs> it, was a, it was a big word. I know. I know. I'm I a know. real blonde some days. Some days? Yeah, some days. Hey, did I, did you did you hear the latest one? That I, did, did you see the blonde joke I sent you? Nope. No? You want me to read it to you? Let me pull you it up on read Facebook. read it to me. Why don't you do that, sugar? <laughs> Is that a threat? No. I, you read that to me. I will. Here, let me, let me pull it up. Mm -hmm. let me, let me pull you up just here. pull up a blonde joke for me. Let me see. I think, well, wait, you post so much shit on your Facebook page. I don't know if it'll show up. You're going to have to pull it up on your page. Did I? Did I? Yeah. I uh huh. Him and blonde jokes. My brother David taught him very well. You didn't have to teach me nothing. I just. Mm -hmm. Where did it David go? used to email me blonde jokes all the time. I miss that. I, I know. But I do prefer talking to him every day. That's much better. Yeah, yeah, right. He gives you the in-person jokes. Yes. I do get an in-person jo blonde joke almost every time I see him. And uh, when I talk to him, I get a lot of jokes. He got mad jokes. He got mad jokes. Who was it that made a joke about mad jokes on TV? Do you remember? We saw that. Yesterday. Oh, we were, uh, we were watching that Mysteries of the Unknown with Josh something or other, that explorer. Mm-hmm. That's and, right, and and he was at the he was at the equator, the, the, the actual equator, the actual zero latitude, zero latitude, which I think would be really cool to see. And they were balancing an egg. Yes, and he was making yolk jokes. Yeah, he says that, that that was a crack. Yes, and then he was. Oh, I found it. And then he said, "Mad jokes." Okay, hey, Patrick's going to tell a blonde. Just joke. when I thought I've heard the best blonde joke ever, along comes one like this. A blonde heard that baths in milk would make her beautiful. Not like Janet needs to take a bath in milk. She's beautiful you, already. Baby. She left a note for her milkman, okay, mm -hmm. to leave 25 gallons of milk. When the milkman read the note, he felt there was there, there, there must be a mistake. Must yep. must be a mistake. He thought, eh, maybe she meant 2.5 gallons, two and a half gallons of milk. Yeah, yeah maybe. So he knocked on the door to clarify. Okay. Clarify the point. Yep. The blonde came to the door and the milkman said, I found your note asking me for 25 gallons of milk. Did you mean 2.5 gallons? The blonde said, no, I want 25 gallons. I'm going to fill my bathtub up with milk and take a milk bath so I can look young and beautiful again. The milkman asked, do you want it pasteurized? Wait for it. Mm, I'm waiting Wait for it. The blonde says, no, just up to my tits. I'll splash it in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still funny. I'll splash it in my eyes. No, just up to here. I'll <clears throat> splash it in my no, eyes. No, tits are a little lower than that. I said up to here. I sat up. Okay. Anyway. Cheese and rice. Come on. That's like one of the greatest ones. Uh, it's a funny one. Every time it comes back around, I send it to you. Yes, you do. God <laughs> bless your soul. Uh, I sent that to you seven years ago. Uh huh. Seven. That's seven. Seven times I've gotten that joke. Do I give it to you every year? Yeah. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. It's, it's funny. It's so good. It's like one of the best ones. Uh huh. You want to pasteurize? No, it's just up in my. My brother tits. Dave liked it when you told it to him the other day. <laughs> I know. You know he's gonna remember that one. Oh, ne- yeah. Next year I'll tag him in it too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there it is. There it is. My necklace was caught. Oh. Mm. My I cross. I don't have that problem. I wear a cross. You know that. I know. Blessed cross. Anyway, we're talking um, about family. Yes, family Sunday dinners. Sunday dinners. So, ah, oh, did you hear? That? I don't know that I have a favorite. You were talking about desserts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know that I have a favorite because I like cooking or baking them. Yeah, I know. I, I know you it's like just baking. whatever I'm in the mood to bake is my favorite for the day. Well, I mean, I guess it would depend on what's for dinner. Yeah, depends on what you would have for dessert. So on an average, usually, usually pie usually goes with just about anything. Mm-hmm. You know, you being an ex truck driver and me being an ex trucker, doesn't matter. You went to a truck stop. What, what was on the dessert menu? Pie. Na- na- almost every kind of pie you could imagine. Oh, yeah. You know, banana cream pie, chocolate cream pie, this kind of pie, that kind of pie, apple. We should go up north of Phoenix here to that restaurant that David always <sighs> stops at for pie that him and my dad like. Yeah. Oh, the Village Inn? Was it, is that no, the it's not Inn? a Village Inn. It's a place that that's, that's what they're known oh, for. Oh, they're, known, private, for the, oh, my they're known for their pie. It's about 100 yeah. miles north. My bad. It's not a Village Inn. Sorry. <laughs> I, knew talk- that, I knew your dad always went to Village Inn. My dad went to Village Inn, especially on, on Wednesdays, Wednesdays for he got free pie. Free pie, drink his coffee. I don't and get see why pie. we don't do that. I don't know. We should go. Because Pat doesn't ride motorcycle on Wednesdays. You never know. You never asked. I threw you under the bus. You don't have. <laughs> Let's go for a motorcycle ride next Wednesday to the Village Inn. All right. We'll go, we'll get go some... to my dad's one. We'll... Dobson Road. Okay. That's his. That's the one he likes. Okay. We'll okay. go eat pie just for dad. Okay. Mark a calendar. <sighs> Marking. Okay. So anyway, I just like the cooking and the baking more than the eating, even though you can tell I've gained weight. I still like what? The, I still like the cooking more than the eating. Wait. Wh- what? Wait. Wh- Who said that? Wh- what? I said that. Wait. Wait. What? Yeah, I said that. No. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. So, do you remember Sunday dinners? Leave us a comment below. Darling. Yes. We're, we're still doing a podcast. So. I just invited you for pie, okay? Okay. You said mark the calendar. Yeah, I don't, you could have done it after the show. I wouldn't remember after the show. That's fine. Pie. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, anyway. This is what we've been doing lately. Sunday dinners. We're trying to bring it back and make it a tradition with us and our family. And I like it. And if you remember Sunday dinner, leave us a comment below. Tell oh, us and, if you remember and, or if you do family dinner still. And I know and, some families do. And while you're there, smash that like button. Push the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And I have a question. What's your question? If they do family dinners, what are their rules or do they have them? Like yeah, leave it turn off the phone, no TV on, or do they do family dinners and allow all that shit at the table? Right. Oh, I know. Tell you how I really feel. Yeah, right. Really. Come on. Jeez, you know nice. what we used to do? What'd you used to do? Uh, when I'd go out with my friends in New York, like Jack and Tasha and all them, okay. we'd go out for Sunday brunch and we would put all our phones in the middle of the table. Okay. Nobody's allowed to answer their phone. You know what you should do? Let, let, let me finish. Sorry. Nobody's allowed to answer their phone. There'd be about eight of us usually. Okay. Everybody had separate checks. If the phone rang and you answered it during dinner, no exceptions, you paid for everybody's bill. I was just going to say. I never paid for the bill. Do you know why? Why? I always called my dad on the way and said, going out to lunch with friends, I'll talk to you after. Yep. (laughs) That way, because I wouldn't answer for anybody but my dad anyway. (laughs) Well, no, what you do is, is, is you put all the phones in the middle of the pile there. And, and whoever's phone's rings got to pay for everybody, no matter what, whether no, you answer whoever, or not. If no. it rings and you hear it, no, that doesn't matter if it you rings. Turn, and you hear it. If you forget to this way, if they forget to turn their phone off, 
guess what? Yeah. You're paying the bill, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's what I would have done. Uh, our our system worked. Uh, the guys paid a lot. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah, I didn't. Not me, though, man. I never had to like, pay. Not me. Nope. Mm -mm. I can ignore that phone real easy. There's some people that I've gone to visit that they, the whole time I'd visit, they'd be like this. Yeah. I'd be like, bye. I'll see you later. How come you're leaving? Well, I've been here half an hour, and you have yet to look up from your phone. Yeah. No, I was just getting off. I'm like, no, that's good. No, Maybe you were getting time. off like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. I've had I've had a piece of pie and a cup of coffee. I'm ready to go. See ya. Yeah. <coughs> any any uh, any final thoughts? Um, check out what we're talking about next week. What are we doing next week? I don't know. That's why I said check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check out our next episode. Let wow, us... oh, golly, golly! <laughs> hey. Get your swag. Get your COVID shots. That's right. You can go to one eight wheeltalk.com forward slash. That's a little slashy thing. Shots. S H O T S. Get your COVID shots with 18 Wheel Talk. We're doing a public service. Trust me, you want our shots. You want our shots. I'm dancing for you. Is that what you're doing? That's a dance. That's a chair dance. Okay. <laughs> you have to go to YouTube to see the chair dance. Not a lap dance. Ah. I knew where see, you were going. See, they were thinking I, that. Uh, I you're knew doing where a you were going, dance. Patrick. Uh -huh. Chair dance, not you a lap dance. You want to see Jenna do a lap dance, but at one eight wheeltalk.com slash YouTube. <laughs> My dad is going to reach down from heaven and knock you upside the head. I know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you feel that, and I'm not in the room, you'll know who. Did oh, that'll it. be your mom. Are you kidding? One of them. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Give us, give us a review if we made you laugh, and made you, made you think about bringing back Sunday or family dinners. Something, you know. Give us five star review, five stars. Leave us a review. Help us support boobies. Support the tatas. Go to 18wheeltalk.com, click on the BC support tab, get yourself a breast cancer awareness t-shirt. 50% of the, all the profits, we're going to divvy up. We're going to give it to all the different cancer researchers that you, our Heck. listeners, tell us about. If you don't tell us about it, we don't know about it. I can't write them a check in your name because you bought a t-shirt, so the proceeds of that t-shirt that you bought Go somewhere that's like important said, to you. We're going to divvy it up. So let us know. All right. Don't dilly dally. Get your butts in gear. Time's a ticking. Tick tock. October, end of TikTok. October is coming soon. Tick tock. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your Sunday dinner. Bye. Okay, bye.